you know, I know many people who've um, abandoned the uh, Trinity doctrine, but they still cling to this uh, pre-existence portfolio. The Messiah was some kind of um, pre-existent being. And by doing this, they, unknown to themselves, assassinate the achievements and character of this special man. And they quote Colossians 1, is it Colossians 1, about the firstborn? You see, the problem is this. We in Greco-Roman culture upbringing do not understand Hebraic thought. A firstborn does not mean in time. It means in stature. Okay? Look at Psalm 89, verse 27. Now, the Psalms are beautiful. Many prophetic s scriptures there about the Messiah. Psalm 89, verse 27. King James. Psalm 89, 27. Also, I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. interesting he is firstborn in this sense well there's quite a few senses firstborn of the dead because every other resurrection will come through him and firstborn also in the sense he was before Abraham in this sense more important John 8 58 which totalitarian seized upon I am <laughs> ego me in fact he never spoke that in Greek to the Pharisees get real he didn't say e asha, e asha in Hebrew he was saying don't focus on Abraham look at me I'm the one that's going to raise Abraham you get this phrase trinitarian scholars which is quite <laughs> laughable to me it's a joke. Trinitarian scholars? No, they're not scholars. <laughs> the Messiah chose ordinary men, fishermen, to proclaim his word. Paul wrote, You perceive that not many wise, in a worldly sense, were called, not many intellectual ones. God chose the foolish things of the world to put the wise men to shame. Firstborn means preeminent not in time jurisdiction in fact he's the lamb slain before the foundation of the world the father's great purpose the father we, we haven't even got a glimpse of the father Job, Job right, we know the fringes of his ways Paul wrote who has come to know the mind of the father but we do have the mind of Christ hopefully we, have, we know nothing of the father really nothing Look at creation. It's mind-blowing. In the new earth, those who are privileged to be there will start to realize the beauty, the power, the glory of the Father through his tapestry, his artwork. Messiah said, if you've seen me, you see the Father, in the sense that he was the exact image and reciprocation of what the father would be if the father was a man on earth which he never was because the father cannot be a man <coughs> told that in Hebrew scriptures the father does not change James 1 tells us he does not change with him is not a variation of the turning of a shadow firstborn think about it the preeminent one who will gather together all things including the former creation Adam onwards to be king of the world get away from this Greco-Roman mindset which is actually infant school crash and get to Hebraic thought John who wrote his gospel John 1 especially it was Hebraic poetry and you and I are far removed from that far removed from that mindset 
We can get into it if we pray for Holy Spirit to open our eyes, the veil that is over us, to realize what firstborn really means. Shalom.